Hello brother Kimi. We're here in Wainiha today. Helping our brother. Uh do some cocoa um for yesterday's pillaging. <laughs> but uh Jesse Olando Lawn did so basically this is the back of the yard. I'm actually like, more like in the kinda in the middle. The he, he now, yeah in the low e. So you guys can see he damaged all the low e. Pushed everything back. He got paid off by uh who knows but there's a uh, the ahu is still standing in the holly guys maalo kyokuwa for that and right now in the lot i'm gonna turn it over to brother imi but i was gonna take a walk you know you guys can see get all the bananas and my uh, and all the different varieties of meakanu that uh you know it's got desecrated i know a lot of the families they're upset and whatever but we try to get something positive out of this but just to show you guys, you know, for us who you know, can come and see, but as you can see, the, we came in through this way. To uh, the neighbor's yard. Again, yeah. So. You know, he never come through the front door if he was legal. Right, that sounds familiar. So he came around over the, the New Heva, and we had dwarf coconut, and also, like, see that right there, there's a ulu tree. Killed the ulu tree, had babies. So he came over from this other guy's property, right? Damages the Awai. Damages the Awai that feeds the source. So the Awai River. The Ulu tree that takes a long time to grow. So he crosses through through this guy's property in the neighbor. So this neighbor pretty much can be held in um you know being part of the whole the whole desecration and property damage. He's also held accountable and I believe these guys on the opposite end to because they could have done something they could have called you or try and help stop it but uh, you know yeah. some people they get paid off you know and nobody know nothing so right now we're just looking for the remaining uh kalo varieties we have like over 20 varieties over here you can see uh, we just this whole place is you know pretty nice. putting it gunkupuna or anti in the back yeah, even Auntie's hard work, I believe, right? She came and oh, yeah, really Kanu, yeah. plenty of the family, Ohana. Yeah, if we so kind of we was involved in the issue, this land issue, with the families of Wainiha because of the world pattern and Kulianas and our inherent interests. The one third. These are Kalo lands and uh, it's special arrangement for our uh, interest in this Aina over here. Raw pattern six six four two kiva ah. You know, you know it's, it's all about education, and even for our people who are suffering from addiction, when, when they learn this truth, yeah. And then sometimes you know, anything you do for money, as you guys can see. So now we we're planning on uh, trying to be positive, but most of all, we got to save all the different varieties of uh, male kanu and plants that we have over here. Uh, yeah, for me, I try to be positive about it and make it a good thing. And uh, you know, it's uh, this kind of times the families and everybody is just devastated because everyone was counting on this um, Aino Momona for feed off of. Of course, we have the Emu and we have other projects over here. I have a question, um, Kaibi. Is is there any f uh, protection toward Kalo that like feder on the federal side of protection? Well, that's what we thought, yeah, and then that's why we filed with all these people, different federal agencies, uh, on Mineral Rights, uh, it's just, you know, the list goes on, but then when uh, it comes down to desecration, like this, like, uh, where do we get justice, yeah? So we're hoping that, you know, people can step in and do their part, Kokua, you know, a lot of family out there. I know I know I get people who, who are marshals and stuff like that looking into this matter and try to make arrests and bring these people to justice, yeah. Because right now they're attacking on us, on our food, so it's a war crime, it's a crime it's a hate crime to all culture. And you know I, and we know about you know we know about nobody. We're not you know, we just doing our thing over here. And feeding the people and the, and the families, but um that's not, this is not what you call Aloha in area. That's what you call Eva. 
anything for money. Yeah, mahalo for you guys' support. And yeah, we still over here. We go, we're not leaving. We are rebuilding, and now we can go more far, open it up, and address things on the other side of the fence. Like what's you know, all the families asking me for be a speaker in this. Uh, which you know, we have practiced for a couple of years now <laughs> going through this, and uh, it's all about transparency and the safety of our people. And most of all, the keiki that run around here. And also for our families who will be home and not suffer this kind of uh, poverty. Yeah? So, you know, all the homeless ohana, houseless ohana out there. And blessings to all you guys. And this is far for us. We're all learning and uh, the truth is the truth. So this is a royal patent kiva'a did it to the ohana and sawaiha. Hi. And for all the ohana out there, uh, that is, we'll be watching and uh, sharing. Please share. Uh, this is happening on the Garden Island of Kauai, on the north shore of the island, where there's a lot of historical and um, a lot of things be going on in the island. Right after this, that these guys did, we had a tsunami threat. Right after, you know, everybody's on a paranoia of this virus. So, brought us the Kaimi radio. He's uh, and his knowledge and wisdom that he, he shares even with the keiki upon a lot of different brackets of stuff. The point is everybody please I know from Mokuki Ave all the way to Niihau the whole chain Aloha Tupuna Aloha Na Ohana and uh, mahalo everybody and I uh, appreciate if everyone can pass this forward and share it. Um like Kaimi said it's not a it's not uh you know basically we we all in high spirits and uh we're gonna start kanu this land again to feed the people, especially in this kind of times and days we're living with this scare of a virus. So these are the men, the Konohiki of Kauai. All these Konohikis of Kauai and the ones that are canoeing and getting families together to, to feed, to get back into what we do and who we are and what we are. Mahalo everyone, please kokua and pass this on in the beautiful mountains of Wainiha. Mahalo everyone.